close our eyes and imagine. Imagine you're walking down a quiet street. No distractions, just you walking. Walking here is relatively simple. Now imagine you turning the corner to Isger Street. There are people walking towards you, buses going past, cyclists yelling at you. You meet up with a friend and talk about the latest updates on the coronavirus. This task is now a little bit more complex. But despite this, you continue to walk at your regular speed. Because walking for you is fairly automatic. Open your eyes. Consider this gentleman with walking difficulties. When he turns that corner to the busier street, he has to slow down to continue walking. When he meets up with his friend, he has to stop every time he talks. Walking for him is more effortful, and because of this, he decides to walk outside less often. As a physical therapist, this is commonly what I hear from my stroke patients. In fact, one in three stroke survivors do not regularly walk within their community. A stroke is a direct injury of the brain that often leaves networks inactive, and this impairs one side of their body. A stroke, even though it occurs in the brain, during rehab, the brain is rarely taken into account. And this is likely because we don't have a clear understanding of what the brain is doing, especially during walking. What we do know originates from studies that ask people to do what we did at the start. Imagine walking. But this time, while lying down in an MRI scan, which is not exactly the same as actually walking. So that's why I'm interested in looking at brain activation during real-time walking under simple and complex environments. Functional near-infrared spectroscopy, FNIRS for short, is a new, lightweight, portable device used to measure brain activation. It's essentially a cap worn on the head filled with lights and light detectors. By measuring the amount of light absorption across the head, we can estimate brain activation. Now, my preliminary results using FNIRS suggest greater overall brain activation in the stroke group compared to healthy older adults, and even greater activation with complex walking. By classifying these brain activations, we can then help refine and develop new individualized treatments to allow more people to walk within their community while enjoying the company of a friend. Thank you.